Okay, now um, let's blend your own watercolor pen shade. Uh, if you have quad, you can put quad under your thigh for like it will not move easily when you blend it. Just any quad, you can put it under the thigh. And now I would like you to see this pigment this pigment if you see is as a pink but when you blend it it will be red color okay let's see uh, now you need to prepare uh, water normal water and you will get after 30 minutes you will get the this of gum alambic now it's ready as a binder uh, now i will Pull, pour the pigment around one of three parts of the tube and you put it as a mountain after that use your finger to make a hole then put use your uh, dropper to get water around 1.5 ml in the hole use polis knife to blend it if it looks too dry you can put some more water In this process, if you want to add uh, some other pigment color, you can blend it now. As much as you like that shape, you have to finish it in, in this process only before you will uh, put gumrabic honey and clove oil. For the better way to blend it, I have one item we call it molar. Like something like glass molar, um, it will be blend it well and it will be faster to mix everything. Um, but if you don't have, you can use the palette knife or you can use something like bottom or something like glass to 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 help it blend as a molar okay when you like your shade already you just put camera big one part of the pigment of one part of five pigments Just roughly around one part and you will just remember your camera big put honey two parts of uh, two of three part of camera big And just a pinch of clove oil. Then blend everything again. You can use another palette to help it blend together.
I blend it like more than 100 times to mix everything well and for the for find the pigment more fine. Okay, uh, you continue doing more and more. Uh, you can listen the sound. If it's like some click, 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 it means the pigment is not blend enough, it's not fine enough. And you can, you have to blend it more, press it. Use uh, your hand, trace more to press it like more fine. Uh, if you like the pigment as I have a little bit of texture, uh, you can just finish it so just uh, stop it and keep it but if you want more fine like if you want to make like very fine pigment very fine paint then you have to blend more it depends on your choice and if you can see now it's too liquidy it's, it's not ready yet to put it in your palette you have to blend more or wait it for some time for it to like set now I think for me now it's ready, it's fine enough. Uh, I will just dress it, dress it and go to the next color. Now I would like to show you uh, the color with a mix it out of two shades yellow and blue for get the green color firstly i will put yellow it depends on your choice if you want more yellow you put more yellow if you want more blue you put more blue And at the same thing, you make it as a mountain and make a hole from your finger. After that, put the water into the hole. Now you blend it. The yellow pigment is uh, have to blend more. Now, as I see, like I want is more light, then I put like you can change, you can like add more. I want to add more yellow. It's, it's as in in this time. I put a little bit of water. Blend it. You can see some pigment which is not blend well. You can use another palette too. Like press it on the tile and blend it. I use 
flat blending space because you can see like every pigment blend as well. If you use like a like a kind of bow mortar, you cannot see like every part of color blend well. And it um, can help it dry easier than the mortar too. Even the tie is heavy enough, then it cannot move easily. Uh, if you use acrylic uh, palette plate, it will is too light and it can move easy. And even if you scratch it, it have like the the the, the, scratch, the scratching line and the color can stuck in it. Then I, I don't prefer that. I prefer something with this like heavy enough. Okay, now I specify of this color, I can uh, put binder at the same amount. Camera big. One path of, of five path of pigment <laughs> and honey. Two path of, of three path of camera big. and a pinch of clover Then well blend them again. Oh, now it's fine enough. And you come to see red color. You just notice it as the toothpaste, like the what do you call con consistency of it. It should be like a, your color from the tube. It should be like that, this is too liquidy. I yeah. just need to blend more and press them to dry. Okay, one point. You can you can pour it in your palette now, but if it's too liquidy, when it's dry, your color will be like come down. It will not full. It's not fill. Then if you have to fill it again, it will not have the same color as before you did. Now you can see the consistency of the pen is thick enough. You can use two palette knives to like put in the wooden palette. We use two knife and use one to work the pen and another one to push the pen into the palette. Now it has some pen left. You can use 
this pen uh, as your color you can like try to finish it and not waste it and uh, for my suggestion uh, if you clean now it will be gone then you can make the darker shade from this palette like you can make brown or black in this palette and the green one I think is too dry if it's too dry you can put a little bit more of water blend it a little bit try to try take them and put them under a palette To uh, make them look more perfect, you can use brush. Put a little bit of water and try to define it. Okay, like two color is done, and uh, you have to let it dry totally around five to eight days. Don't try to close this now because now it's not dry yet. You can try the paper, like different kind of paper. This one is like absorb. If you like press one time, you can see the stroke. It's nice to make like kind of texture. Um, and I like this one is can absorb well the most. It can spread well. Okay. Now it has, if you have some like pen left, you can find your own container by yourself as a gel, uh, walnut, or maybe lotus pot, anything you can use as your container. And put them on the bar. Now I will use this pen left. You can use now. You can use as your watercolor now. Sure. 